Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G, and I'm so excited to take a look at these brand new Godzilla Playmates Toys action figures. We have Rodan, the 1956 version, and Gorosaurus, the 1968 version, and obviously there's not going to be a lot of surprises because this is an open box the way they sell it, but I'm so excited to bring you this wave that I found at Target. So we got these a few months ago, and now these two are the ones that are out. And I'm excited, so we're gonna dive right on in, guys. But before we get started, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can get notified every time we have a new video come up. Talk to us in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these action figures and which one is your favorite. So, what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right? Now. What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. On Super Channel G. God, is this great! All right, friends, so let's go ahead and get started and look at these two brand new Playmates Toys Godzilla action figures. These are Godzilla Classic, and we have Rodan, the 1956 version. And we do have Gorosaurus, the 1968 version. So, which one do you want to do first? Let's go ahead and do Rodan. What do you say? Let's hit this bad boy right here. All right, and let's kick it off with Rodan. Let's get a little closer. And again, there's not going to be any big surprises because we can basically see this action figure right here. But here's this awesome packaging. They are, um, looks like Playmates Toys has the license. And look at this beautiful Godzilla and that font right there. Found these both at Target. And these are the two that we had found at Target a few months ago when these two came out. Now we have a wave of these two. And let's get it open. Looks like we're only going to have to cut right here where there's just a tie right here at the waist. But I don't want to accidentally cut Rodan. So let's see, what will be the easiest way, there we go, let's go through here, get this under so it doesn't scratch Rodan either. There we are. And then it's got a little hole right there for the feet. So let's zoom in closer right here, and let's take a look to see what sort of articulation and uh, movement we might have on this action fig. So, I guess let me come up a little closer so I don't have so much shadow here. And here's the head right here. There's a little bit of gold, red tongue. And man, look at the back. We have this greenish, bluish color right here. Again, with this gold color kind of striping the back right here looks like the wings don't move at all looks like they're fixed right there the neck does turn and this is soft plastic so that moves but it's intended to stay like that and it doesn't look like there's any other articulation here it does say 2020 so I'm curious because it does say playmates um, right here is this because uh, I was I was wondering if this was the first mold because some of these are uh, not the first mold in a re-release that'd be interesting if this was right here uh, it's permanently has one wing up and one wing down with claws and talons looking just like that but we can kind of just look over what do you think of this mold so it'd be kind of cool to just give it a little bit of a washed paint look. And obviously I do like this gold paint and the stripe we got going on here. But maybe for a little bit more realistic detail, 
be able to bring like a little bit of a wash look instead of kind of like a flat plastic color look right here. That'd be interesting. So maybe, maybe we'll do that. Let us know in the comments. And um, yeah, so there's Rodan, the fire demon. And let's just bring in close real quick so we can have this epic look from the bottom up. Too bad it doesn't pose a little bit differently because this is a simple pose. It's more of a statuette that can move its neck, but still cool. Look at that. All right, let's move on to our other action fig. And next, and last but not least, we have Gorosaurus. Gorosaurus looks kind of cool here. Look at that. Um, kind of interesting. And what was the movie that? That he first came out in was it uh, that King Kong Escape movie? <sighs> I mean, don't remember. But um, interesting looking uh, uh, kaiju right here. There's a lot of biting, not so much fighting with the little little arms. Uh, gets to whip the tail around, but yep, looks pretty cool. Uh, did a pretty good job of making it look like that. And yeah, it's bust this action figure on out. I wonder if we can twist this tail out without... Nope, because it's got another tie right here. I wonder if... Yeah, I was like, slip that up. Wow, okay. Maybe I can. Just sneak this bad boy on out over there. What about over here? Oh, maybe so. The feet. I was like, nah, the feet, there's no way. And maybe there is. Maybe there is not. <laughs> Got it that far. And I was like, hmm. I was wanting to try. But no, that's alright. Let's go ahead and cut it on up. There we go. Look, stands even without the tail. See the arms do move a little bit right here at the shoulder. Do spin all the way around. We do have that much posability. This one kind of sits a little higher than that one. It's got the elbow kind of like that. Does turn right here at the neck. So that's cool. The legs do move. Look at this. They kind of just rotate out like this. So maybe not the most practical. And all right, we got another 2020 right here. So not just another uh, reissue. Look at that. Okay, cool. The tail looks like it should insert pretty easily. Look at that. And we do have paint all the way down there. So, ugh, you hear how hard that's kind of squeaking in there. There we go, just kind of torque it in. And let's see, this tail did make it a little bit awkward to stand because look, where the feet are, I bring them in like this, the feet start to come in instead of staying out right here. So let's see how that affects a Gorosaurus. Bring the legs right here, they come in, they just stand better. It is more of an awkward type stance, but still. Look. look at that. Not too shabby. What are your thoughts? Let me take a quick picture right here. Okay. I think we should bring at least one version of a Godzilla into this. What do you say? Okay. Let's let's get one. All right, and here we go. I'm just kidding. That's not it, these are little small versions. But um, I did find that one I was looking for. Uh, the Godzilla, that would be a Playmates Godzilla in this line. This really cool burning Godzilla we got from Blind Bag. But yeah, no, it's not what we're looking for. And because I just organized everything and put some stuff away, I didn't find an open Godzilla. I found this one right here. So, this is Godzilla from Final Wars 2004. 
and another great one in this line. And remember when these four came out, that was awesome. So let's just put them right here next to them. And you can see the, the size comparison right here. Let's, um, without me having to take them out. It's definitely Godzilla's a lot taller. Put them right here in the front. He was roughly right here. And then for Rodan, standing right here, it would be this size. So not too shabby. Thoughts? Well, friends, it was a lot of fun hanging out with you here today. We have more great videos like this if you want to check back on Super Channel G. And um, so, yeah. And for right now, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can be notified every time I have a new video come out. And talk to us in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these. And, yeah, check out more great videos like this on our YouTube channel. So guys, thank you for hanging out with us here today, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.